Hi Natural Divas, um, today I'm going to show you how I do my Rasool um, clay mask. Um, I use it once a week to try and help keep my skin clear um, and it's really nice because it draws out the toxins from the skin, helps to condition the skin. You can also use the clay um, to do a deep condition for your hair but today's video is just about the mask. So um, this is the clay that I bought um, from Shea Butter Cottage. Um, I bought 300 grams um, and it's um, a product from Morocco. So we're just going to measure out. I'm going to use probably one tablespoon. Actually we'll do one and a half because um, Normally, I don't really measure, I just sort of estimate it. Sorry, let's do two. I normally just estimate it, but um, because I know some people really need to have measurements to make it a bit easier for them, that's why I'm doing that today. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Very, this is my, uh, this one is fine, is a fine powder, it's not rough at all. Um, Next, I'm going to use some tea tree oil. And I'm going to put half a tablespoon, actually a quarter of a tablespoon. So tea tree oil is a very good antiseptic. For those of you who suffer from spots, you will know that this is, um, this is quite good for the skin. So, quarter of a tablespoon of that, and then neem oil. Neem oil is a very good antiseptic as well, um, very good for spots and blemishes. The only thing about neem oil, it stinks, it really does smell horrible. So, um, I don't ever use too much. So, a quarter of a tablespoon, of a teaspoon, sorry. And just pop that in there. Okay. Right, castor oil. This is West Indian castor oil. I just got it in Brixton Market. It's um, really cheap, only £1.49. However, I think if you wanted to use castor oil in your hair, this wouldn't be a good one to use. It leaves my hair quite crunchy. So I just use it um, for anything to do with my skin, but I don't use it in my hair. So again, quarter of a teaspoon in there. Okay, just wipe my hand. Okay, then um, argan oil, um, another product from Morocco. It can be a bit pricey. I, I paid £14 for this bottle, um, and argan oil is very good for the skin. It has natural healing properties, it's a very good um, agent for. Um, decreasing the, the signs of aging really um, so if you have wrinkles um, or anything like that this is very good for for trying to help relieve that so I'm just going to put a few drops in okay probably will amount to about a quarter of a tablespoon again teaspoon again so a little bit in there okay then some honey you can use manuka honey but this is just some pure clear honey that I bought in the um, supermarket. Um, I think you can probably use any type of honey, but a lot of people like Manuka honey. Um, so honey is a very good humectant, which means it absorbs moisture from the air um, and absorbs it into the hair or, in, or into the skin. So I've just used, this is like a, a normal dinner tablespoon just going to pop that in there so it's quite thick so I'm just going to pop that on there like that and lastly you want to put your water so use a jug I'm not going to tell you how much I've used because I actually don't know how much I will use all I do is just add a little bit of water bit by bit and I just start mixing until it becomes a paste
So you can really smell the neem oil. It's so strong. So, I mean, if you're going to use neem oil in this, um, it's fine if you're using it on your skin. But if you're ever going to um, steam your hair or anything like that, I wouldn't advise to use neem oil because the smell stick, sticks around for ages. It does not go at all. I swear, I was so paranoid once I put it, I used it to steam my hair because I knew it'd be good for my scalp. Um, but no, it, no, that smell is too much. Way too much. Okay, so just mix it all around. I'll show you what it looks like in a sec. I just want to make sure all the water's mixed in. If you put too much water, don't worry, just add some more um, of the clay. And again, if you think, or oh, you haven't made enough, um, add more clay, add more water. And if you want, you can add more of the oils or anything like that. It's, it's not a problem. Okay, right, so that's what it looks like. Then what you want to do is put it on your face. Um, you can wash your face with soap first or whatever cleanser you use or just wet your face. Pop the mask on, have your shower, have a nice hot shower because the steam from the shower will open up the pores and allow the um, product, products to work on your skin um, and then you just rinse off. Um, if you find there's like a slippery film, you can use um, your soap again just to get that off because sometimes I find I might have a little film that's left on. Some people like it and just, just moisture, dry and moisturize straight afterwards. But I, I tend to um, do one more wash. Um, what, well, what I tend to do is wet my skin, put it on and then I just wash it, wash it off um, with a little bit of soap after. Okay, hope that helps. I hope you have fun trying this out and um, play around with the ingredients. You can add anything you want in there as long as you know what properties um, you're trying to benefit from from the particular oil or ingredients you're using then that's fine. As for storage, I tend to not store it. I just make a little bit as I go and use it um, and just use it straight away. Um, anything that's left over I chuck away. Alright guys, take care. Don't forget to rate, subscribe um, and let, you know, let me know your comments.